All right, here we go. All right. <clears throat> Here's how we're going to start off the stream. Uh... <laughs> Great way to start the stream. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right now um you said that we missed some things Is happening. That's fair. Chain Doger, yeah. Yeah, I know Chain Doger. Uh, stairway. Here we go. <laughs> what are... What are my requirements again? I forget. Yeah, there's like a requirement for uh, getting to affiliate. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look. Um, path to affiliate. Reach 50 followers. Great. And then within a 30 day performance, stream for 8 hours, stream on 7 different days, and have an average of 3 viewers. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to wait like another five or six days before I start going to that, and then I'm going to need at least three people just kind of with the stream open, you know? Important places in yellow? Uh, I... Yes. I don't know. I don't know, hold on. Ugh, I'm gonna actually type. Uh, Sekiro important places yellow. Listen to your weapon? What? I... I don't know. Wait, what? Don't keep holding loot? Hey, okay. Yeah, this is a great guy. Anyways, it doesn't actually... It doesn't say anything about... That being yellow, so I'm guessing it's not that important. Alright, where am I going? Okay, yeah, I'm here. Okay. 
killed the chicken. Oh, shoot. Oh, there's Mercy. Yeah. Huh? Hey, Nar, Nar, Ashu, Sonogor, Sorekara, Shuga, Zeni, Soko de Dana, Soreo, Sorekara, Dodes. Zenit. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Um, Jenna, at, the... uh, like, at the statue, um, at the dilapidated temple, dilapidated, that's the word, you know, where you go to, like, get your upgrades, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a merchant, He sells a gourd seed? He sells a gourd seed? He sells a gourd seed? <laughs> uh, 2000, which happens to be just enough for me. I, I happen to have three. Yeah, and I happen to have three of those. Deva. <laughs> <laughs> He's also got some info that we need to buy, maybe, quite possibly. Oh, that's a will! <laughs> he was, how he still is. <laughs> He's pog bones. Alright, how do we upgrade him? Old gravy. Um, actually, I don't. Empty chamber. Mm. Yeah, all right. Oh, I'm sorry. I am now the boss. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no! Are you sure you didn't go to the Ashina Dojo? No, it's not boss! <laughs> oh, wait, did I never turn in the sword? Yeah. Oh, dude, I took all damage. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, shoot, wait, that's the wrong way. Yeah. Alright, I made it. Yeah, I've been here before. This is actually the uh, path I took. Kind of like I, I got here somehow. Um, and I couldn't tell you how. Oh, there's a statue. Here. Well, great.
Wait, is that another statue down there? Oh, shoot. Wait, hold up. I think I've actually been down there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Stab him. Ah. There's more than just the spear guy. Guess what? <laughs> Okay, so they need salt. Ah, uh, dang though. I can't believe these guys need salt. What kind of losers are they? Beasts are scared by loud noises. This makes the firecracker quite effective against them. Or, you know, you could always just stab him in the face. Yodana! <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, you warp to the temple, right? And then, he's behind the statue. The, the statue. There. Yeah, like the resting statue. Really? You don't you have a statue that you can rest at and travel from? What? Why do I have a merchant? Like he's just kind of over here by this bamboo. Wonder why he's here. Oh. I didn't. Hold on. Fujioka, the info broker. Oh, Well, there you go. That's uh, that's how you get him. Alright, what do you got? I got sugars.
Oh shoot! Wait, is this unlimited amount of scrap iron and gunpowder? Cool. Ah, uh, the no, but this guy sells info. I want to know what the info is. <laughs> also, man, can you imagine people actually using their thumbs for A, B, Y, X and not the right stick? Yo, the attack. I just, I just realized that uh, an article I was looking at that was like supposed to give tips was like, oh yeah, don't just constantly be holding X. You'll need your thumb for later. Yeah. Oh shoot! Wait, that's eighty gold dragon blood droplet. Oh shoot! Wait, there is no limit. Oh wait, no, that's that's my cell. If you didn't need those dragon's blood drops, you can sell it for 80 gold! <laughs> ah, dang. Uh, unlimited Ungo's sugar, though. That's cool. He's also got unlimited anti-dowsing and pacifying sugars. Except the pacifying agent. Error. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, oh yeah, they just got the heavy plate. You idiot! You just got this. Of course you have one. Uh, wait, Travis, what's our sword called? The one that we, like, just got as prosthetic? Almost. Yeah, what's it called? Okay. Uh, this merchant tells you where, uh, the, the prosthetic sword is. It's called, like, Saibu Maru or something. Saibu Maru. What? Sword has a combo? That's so cool. And there's also a for it. Perform a sword attack that toggles the current attack combo. This turns your body and can also be used for evasion. Like an upgrade. That's neat. But I'm still looking for something to allow me to upgrade uh, my shuriken. Top. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Wait, what do you mean one of the rats eliminate? I, yeah, they were just those three guys. Oh, okay, okay. I get what you're saying now. Yeah, you said by old cube, yeah? this game. You've got like these samurai, these shinobi, like all these people fighting with swords. And then there's this man with a bazooka. 
He's, he's a normal enemy. I have found the dude. Never get me up here. Ow! He shot me through the roof! No, thankfully I'm still alive! <laughs> Ow, but I'm not far enough. No, I know. But, um, I knocked him off the tower. I... <laughs> I really don't know how I did this. I have held Bazooka Man! That was cool! Oh my god! <laughs> you found the what? Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> that Where are you, bell ringer? Yep. I mean, they seem like they'd be the main four tools. Dang, I wanted to upgrade the fire crackers even more. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Die air death is a skill. Oh wait, like you know, it's just then you got the gun. I get it's part of a skill tree. Yeah, no, no, this one just uh, allows anybody in midair 
you um, just get death blood, you know? <laughs> For example, um, Flying Bird Ninja Guy! <laughs> I hated that man! He just shook. <laughs> Whenever you're like going around the rooftops and stuff, uh, getting to that save point, there's just that one guy who comes out of nowhere from the air and just hits you. <laughs> Yeah, alright. Have I been there? Is that the statue that I've been to? That might be. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have definitely been there thinking about it. Man, what a battle that was. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, remember when we were talking about how we had to get across that broken bridge to get those items? Because, I mean, it clearly showed that we had to be there. Like around, uh, like behind Chained Ogre. Uh, I, um, so I found out where the other side is. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> It's old grave, Travis. <laughs> we we've done it. We've uh we've made it to the other side. I was just staring at that save point, being like, "Have I been there before?" And then I noticed the area right before it. Wait, that's... <laughs> oh, and that's the battleground! Yo, that's Horse Guy! <laughs> ah, shoot, we've come a long distance. Time sprint by these guys if he was over here. Nobody can catch me while I'm sprinting, apparently. Monkeys! Monkeys and grass. Okay. Oh shoot! Yo, it's a point. That I've already been to. Huh. <laughs> I've apparently already been here. Oh yeah, cause that's, oh that's totally, <laughs> that's totally there, yeah, I skipped. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I jumped down to another save point and got to, uh, the area that leads to Giraffe Guy. That's his new name now, by the way, Giraffe Guy. <laughs> uh, okay, so I've already, already been across to here. Alright, so where am I going for the sprayer bead?
Yeah. Wait, hold up, what did it mean? Oh, well it was until I worked back to Serpent Shrine. Under Shrine! Yeah, that worked. Turn around. Yep, I see a grabbable edge. Uh, grabbable up here. Oh, you don't even have to grapple up there. <laughs> he tells me it's a loose sprayer bee. Turns out it's actually a uh, mini boss that I have to fight that's just really easy. <laughs> Musket guy and a spear guy. That's kind of terrifying, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, 279, I think, is the highest I've seen. No. This is... Yeah, but, like, money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, no, really? Oh, God. If you, if you really want a good grind spot, though, you kind of just sprint way through Sunken Valley and get to uh, Gunport through some miracle. Uh, you can just kind of rest there, and there are like two guys you can stab in the back for 300 points. <laughs> now what I'm about to do! Now what I'm about to do! Oh, there's a random up there. 
Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> that was that was dumb. Why did I do that? I ran. Hi. <laughs> uh, well, from the teleport, you go the um, opposite way that you're trying to go. <laughs> Look, man, I don't know. <laughs> I did it like a couple streams ago. <laughs> I have, I have, there are plenty of people who don't like people set on fire. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, was it actually just dash towards them, essentially? Oh. Man, these guys are rich. What are these candle holders? They're basically just the bell guys. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, yellow gunpowder. Yo. Cool. Yes, I have yellow gunpowder now. What is this now? Uh, that's it. That was a bad idea! Oh my god, I saved it! This is still a bad idea! That, um, it would into a mini boss, but with that mini boss will come like 15 guys with muskets that are trying to shoot you at from a long range. So like, I really can't try fighting them. Alright, I'm gonna be right back.
Did you find musket men? <laughs> the musket men here are shooting at you from a very long range. The musket men that are shooting at you from a very long range. <laughs> um, I'll be honest, they kind of just held B throughout that entire section. <laughs> I kind of just held B throughout that entire section. Shoot, I messed it up again! Grinding. Oh, I mean, whenever you've got these uh, bazooka people who just give 300 points, I mean... Don't notice me. Okay. <laughs> they don't notice me. They don't notice me. They don't notice me. Must have been the wind. Ah, dang, there's nobody left for me to do the uh, rest of the thing. <laughs> Shoot! Oh, I hate those things! Oh my god, why are those there? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you don't know, I'm stepping on all of them. I don't know where this is supposed to take me, but I'm gonna use it. Alright, well, I have no clue where to go with that. Ooh, maybe up here. Ooh, hey, there actually was an item. Alright. Whee!
Do I have enough? Nope. Vault over. Oh, eh. Sound suppress. Um, express this movement by inhibiting your enemy's ability to. Yeah. Although it is actually sick looking at it. Yeah, I'm like one point away from getting Shinobi Eyes, which is right before it, and then I can grind for that. <laughs> I'm seven points away from getting it. Yeah. Got impotency and aroma. Where's the tier three? Oh, shoot! Whoa! Okay, so there's Nightjar slash Prosthetic Arts. You know that, right? Uh... The... The next one, Nightjar slash Reversal, is apparently an upgrade of it. Cool. What? Aesthetic. Um. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. After using certain prosthetics, press RB to imbue the sword with the tool effect. Uh, right now, the only applicable prosthetic tool we have is flame vent. So I'm guessing fire sword. But it's one of those parts, so you don't actually need to set it. Shoot! Oh, well, how did I miss mid-air prosthetic ability? There's a, there's a thing where you can use prosthetics in mid-air. I need to get up. Oh god, oh you moved slightly. Oh wait, no you haven't, you're a different guy. You know, if I ever actually move the enemy, uh, and I start like animating us walking around this, I think I'm just gonna have my guy with like the Lucio cap, but instead of uh, like the Lucio face, it's just a Chaos Emerald. <laughs> well, well, yeah, that would probably be the main reason I'd get into animating, man.
Oh god, if I ever actually do get into animating our Sekiro, what would I design you to be? <laughs> I, I just have Sekiro with like a Lucio cap and you're just a demon. <laughs> Great, so I'll just do Sekiro with like red eyes then. Because apparently that's how they portray demons in this game, they just have red eyes. <laughs> oh shit, oh the the back of thing? Is that you like keeping your inventory? Did it just teleport you to one of the statues and that's it? Oh shit, wait, you can just teleport directly to the temple? Oh, that's cool. We might have actually use that. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, where did you get that? From who? Rat, okay. Uh, how much was it? Like, 1500? <laughs> All right, yeah, I can, I can get that then. <laughs> Yo. Oh my God. Continuous fire! <laughs> Permanent burning! Actually, that sounds like the perfect tool for you. <laughs> sounds like the perfect tool for you. It just constantly burns things. <laughs> you know, I just realized I've been. Oh, that merchant? Uh, yes. I... I honestly couldn't tell you. I, I, I've had quite a few streams of me being in this castle, and most of them have just involved me jumping through the castle. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> しらん。そうか。鬼行その傍ら多分随一。死にたか。あの<笑> I have four lights. Dang it, I can't buy that info. Or the skill, actually. Through all of you! Ow! He's uh, just randomly shooting a bazooka at me. <laughs> Yo, that's a that's a great description of what that is. Easy. Death. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh wait, is he that guy that told you to get rid of all the samurai? Oh. Yeah, I remember him. Uh, no. Oh, is... You'll, you'll, you'll... I... So he's samurai, it's really just the basic enemies. Yeah, it's just the, it's just the basic enemy is like on the ground. I gotta be prosthetics that I'm missing, and I want them. You know what? I'm just looking up a list of prosthetics, like just to see like what we need right now. You ever just forget when the game's called Sekiro? You ever, you ever just forget the game? <laughs> oh yeah, just, uh, for a brief second, I just completely forgot about it. A loaded speed. Huh, kind of want to know where that is. Divide abduction! <laughs> yes, the divine abduction. That's what I need to know about. <laughs> divine abduction. Play it. So, hmm. Do we have the gatehouse key? The gatehouse key? Where's Ashina Reservoir? Oh wait, that's the uh, starting area. Yeah, I, I told you about that. There's like two of them. Ah, Ashina Reservoir. They apparently have a teleport to here. Good question. <laughs> yeah, the Ashina Castle, it was like the best teleport for me. But, good luck getting the info on... <laughs> yes, good luck getting the info on where this is from me. I do not know! Oh, shoot! Ha! Well, what do you know? Um, so, uh, I know where I am now. Um, so, you know that first, uh, mini-boss that you fight? Like, you get to the castle, and there's the mini-boss who's, like, hyping up everybody. He's got the four musket men that are just super easy to kill. So, um, instead of going to the right, go to the left. You know how you would have to go to the right to, like, get on top of the castle? You want to go to the left side. 
Well, yeah, but from the left side. I want you to look down into the left. There's a, uh, there's a drop down. It's got a door that you can open, and then there's a... Uh, yeah, there's also some guys you can eavesdrop on that tell you, oh, there's a shinobi around. This is... This is also the starting area, like, completely starting area. I mean, this is like the tutorial area, man. Like, you, you, you walk out that door, that door is the one that the first mini boss is guarding that you didn't go through. Oh, yeah? Ah, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the chest is talking about. Alright, where's the key? Uh, after eavesdropping on the enemies, he will discuss a tarot trooper wearing armor kill them. What? Um. Eavesdrop on enemies that discuss the tarot trooper wearing armor. So, I guess, find some enemies to eavesdrop on. I mean, a lot of people in this game seem to be very adamant that you die. Ah, dang. I've gotten too used to the stealth of this game, so... <laughs> it's just kind of become an everyday occurrence. You just walk up behind somebody and stab them in the throat. Hmm. I wonder what's 
here now. <laughs> Yo, she's a remnant. <laughs> hmm. oh, nothing up here either, except for, like, for some reason. Nope, nothing. Oh, that's what this is for. All right, sorry, my last one's given. Dang it! All right, I have found a powerful spear, man. Apparently he is one of the seven Ashina spears, if there are actually seven Ashina spears. In the Ashina Reservoir? Uh, well, I don't think you've killed all of them. There, there is... Yeah, so I'm guessing you... Um, whatever you do, don't head up to the temple thing where you got, like, or, like, where that first cutscene was. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, he's one of the seven Ashino Spears. Uh... Well, you can get an easy backstab on it if you just, uh, you know, take the route that you went to get there in the first place. But, I mean, since he's a spear guy, he of course has attacks where you can, uh, meet a recounter. No? I have no clue what this is talking about, honestly. Uh, let's actually go to IGN, because I feel like they're somewhat better at making guides. Uh, jump left. Wait. Huh? Jump left across the main bridge to find another bridge you snuck under at the start of the game. 
Two soldiers here are talking about the broken horn of Kyobu being moved to nearby gatehouse. One of the soldiers has the key on him, so kill him to take it. Wait, what? I can make up. Well, it only works on a couple of them, you know, like he's of course got a swiping move. I dashed towards him and it worked. So don't tell don't don't tell me that it doesn't work, but I've clearly done it, you know. <laughs> Travis, I have video proof that it works. I have video proof that it works. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, I never killed these guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, no. So, from the statue of Ashina Castle, you know, the one right before the dude with the four muskets, um, head a little bit backwards, and, uh, on one of the sides will be, like, a tree root that you can grapple to. <laughs> There are guys you can eavesdrop on that tell you about the armor. So, yeah, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the guy to tell you about the armor. And then one of them has the gatehouse key, and then you stab him. You got the gatehouse key, so you just steal it from him. There you go. <laughs> uh, if you want to, there's like this giant with a bell he swings around a bit further ahead that you can try and kill. He, nah, he, he's not a mini boss, but I mean, he's a. Uh... Well, he was difficult until I figured out how to sneak attack him. He's got three dogs. I see you found them. <laughs> He's got three dogs. Here's the other two barking. I see you found them. Oh, shoot. Wait, there's a statue here. Yo, statue. Goku no! Wait! Hold up! It's a merchant! I found a merchant! He sells a prayer bead! He just sells a prayer bead! Also, whatever this is, I'm gonna get the stream to actually... A fragment of an old mask. The original must have been broken into several pieces. And this fragment appears to be a decoration at the top of the mask. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder what that is. 
Si c'est un gars. Il dit. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Hmm. Oh, great. Just what I wanted to fight. That, Cause that grab is basically just a rehead grab from Zelda. Yeah, I heard you. Uh, anybody who has played like an actual Zelda game will know exactly what I was talking about, though. <laughs> Um, no, they do drop stuff, it's just they come to life. Mm. Wait, so where am I supposed to deliver this? Yeah. Easy to kill. What am I saying? It must be delivered. What? What? <laughs> must be delivered. Oh, thanks. Yeah, what's up? Oh, yeah? Wait, wait a second! <laughs> so I got this letter, right? Thinking, oh, okay, so we're supposed to deliver it. He knows what he needs. And so I look up, where am I supposed to deliver it? And it tells me the job is to actually kidnap a healthy man. <laughs> we're kidnapping somebody! <laughs> yes! Oh, it's kind of found it. Uh, it's like right next to the statue-ish, kind of like it's. Statue's pretty. What? How did you not find it? Oh, you Travis! No, the statue before going into the dungeon. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty close to like the beginning of the dungeon, man. Right. Like, yeah. So you go into the dungeon, you stay on the top path instead of dropping down. Mm hmm. And then there's somebody you can talk to to get a bloody letter where you can kidnap somebody. But, like, you actually have to go and kidnap them. Oh, shoot. Oh, I found the red lump. Okay. 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 
You know, maybe I don't want to go forward here. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to leave. This is not somewhere I want to be. <laughs> Back to the presser floor to get my prosthetic. <laughs> no! No, I think I'm killing <laughs> No, I don't even want to cross that water, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I already can't handle horror games, man. You know this. This <laughs> is right. Uh, let's open this place up. Oh great, it's um <laughs> man in the wall from uh Warframe. You know, that guy that looks like your operator. Please tell me you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You know who I'm talking about whenever I say man. It's, it's it's the guy who looks like the operator. Man, that must be super audible, huh? Almost. Um, I haven't. Yes! I found the thing I wanted! Okay, this speed is what allows me to upgrade the shuriken. Right, you know, and then from the spear, you can uh, you upgrade the spear, and then he can upgrade the shuriken again. Go, go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Wait, hold up. That that spear just like unlocked the entire top row. Oh, but I need, um, Okinaga's flame vent before I can fully upgrade this sphere, it looks like. I've also found Phantom Kunai! So, the spear for the Phantom Kunai. Well, yeah, but you need to for it. Not exactly. Whatever 
got a uh, dot before it, you need all the requisites before you can get that. You know, I can't just go full across the spear line and be like, oh, well, I now have the final spear. No, I have to get uh, Okinaga's flame before I'm able to get it. It's prerequisite. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, hold up. I can get the divine abduction? Hold up. Wait, it's. It says after the gun fort, and I've made it past the gun fort, I think. I love putting mm. neat. I love putting light ice on my mobile order and then like opening up my uh, drink to see how much ice in it and it's like half the cup. <laughs> ah yes, light ice. <laughs> Oh no. You wouldn't dare. Oh, yeah, it's like a wetter thing so you can go kidnap people. Uh, stay on the upper path. <laughs> this is what makes it so great. No, I have to fight long arm centipede giraffe. Cause he's he's protecting a prosthetic tool. Long arm giraffe. I'm deflecting his attacks. 
but it's still increasing my stagger. Static tool for one. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh, it strips armor. <laughs> you guess what long arm centipede draft probably doesn't have. Go! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> My god, this is a very fast battle, one or the other. <laughs> Did you get to Long Arms and a Giraffe? Or have you seen Long Arms and a Giraffe?
very fast fight because he keeps doing the same attacks, basically. But, like, with a mix-up of he might throw a, a um, unblockable that he can jump over. You jump over his unblockable and then attack him. It makes the stagger go up faster. And so the basic idea is to keep deflecting him, and jumping over the unblockable and hitting him until eventually he can death blow him. It was actually a really cool fight. But, like, the thing is, his attacks are very consistent in what he does. Like, he'll always, at the same stage of his attack, attempt to do the unblockable, unless he decides not to, you know? Um. Well. I'm, unless you've got, what's it called? Finger whistle. <laughs> no, because you also don't have divine abduction because you haven't beaten uh, the guy. Uh, long arm centipede giraffe. I have divine abduction, which is from long arm centipede giraffe. That is such a ridiculous name, and I hate the fact that I can say it perfectly. <laughs> uh, which, actually, this is the tool that is before the firework grade of long spark. Use the fan of leaves to wrap yourself in a whirling maelstrom. Excuse Excuse me? Hold up, hold up. Let me... Finger th oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me look at finger whistle here. Finger whistle! When you use the tool, can beasts attack their allies or catch the attention of the enemy Sekiro is trying? When used on monkeys, wolves, and dogs, it will cause them to attack anyone in sight. <laughs> It can also be used to distract normal in the same way as a ceramic shard. The final upgrade also stuns heads. However, you can only affect it twice. Interesting. Um, Guardian Ape Boss? Who is this required us? Uh, oh, he's a shinobi, possibly? Guardian Ape is an immortal that guards the Lotus of the Palace. Um, which one? Oh, that guy ran over him. Oh, <laughs> oh no, there's probably like some grapples I found or something. <laughs> I think I can go fight this guy if I want to. <laughs> Travis, he's, um, he's fast and long arms and a peach giraffe. <laughs> you, you have to be long arm centipede giraffe before you're actually able to get here, I think. <laughs> and to get to long arm centipede giraffe, you have to get past the area you're going through. <laughs> God, though, I still hate that name. Long arm centipede giraffe.
Find some enemies. You'll, you'll find like a cave. You'll find like a cave. And inside that cave is a uh, save point. Um, um, yeah, actually, I think you gotta go behind that. Uh, go left. Go left. You did it! Now defeat Long Arm Sin PGF. <laughs> you did it! Now kill this man. Ah! Check him! And I'm poisoned. <laughs> I am poisoned now. Wait, where am I going? Down a long cave. Uh, go over the bridge. I think. Oh! You found him! <laughs> uh huh. But at the same time, they are very efficient. His weakness is blocking. No, Travis, okay, do you know of the complexity where you press the block at the perfect time? Please say yes if you do not know. Okay. You're supposed to like of his attack, and then he goes in for uh, a block, jump over him and attack him a couple times. Well, yeah, it's like nine attacks in quick succession or something. Collecting him. Well, no, that's pretty much exactly what you want, because all you're looking for is like a minor amount of health. Yeah. Just keep deflecting him because you're never going to get his help. Oh, mm -hmm. but that's the goal. You have to keep deflecting until he can get knocked off balance. I I don't know what he is. <laughs> Is there a bestiary? Can I just take a look? No. <laughs> Alright. 
<laughs> I, I don't know what he is. Like, I, I really, I really don't know what's going to work against him. All I know is that the reflection strat just kind of worked wonders for some reason. It was kind of my best strat because, I mean, that's that's kind of it. You, my posture broke him. Where am I going? <laughs> Where am I going? Accidentally jumps into black hole into the pit. Master! Master of Puppets, I'm telling you! Where am I going? I found an area with geckos. I found an area with guys who just kind of threw fire at me. Where do I go now? <laughs> Geckos that speed poison as well as guys that throw fire. Honestly, it was not fun. You know, it just... They ambushed me. I can absolutely promise you that if you time it correctly, it works. Well, well, Travis, it, Travis, it, it also says uh, poorly fitting art. Those of large business will at times put themselves into poorly fitting art. Will at times force themselves. Also, I'm pretty sure large builds likely be the giants that like have the bells and the hammers and stuff. Sometimes they have armor and that's why it's poorly fitting. Wait a second. <laughs> Look, I don't know. Do you know? <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's why it says sometimes. Oh, it's unlockable. Here's an unblockable. <laughs> well, it's unblockable. It's not an invisible move. Putting <laughs> armor off larger and drawing large, lighter enemy towards you. Well, I would guess that it actually does include some uh, some bosses, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. You can use the second phase of the Guardian fight to apparently pull down a centipede out from inside him. I don't like that. Despite the armor stripping qualities of the it cannot be used to remove the armor of the armor warrior.
Yeah, I'm guessing it just can't be used against certain enemies that you would think it would be used against. The letter, yeah, you can kidnap certain people. Okay, so I found this area. Where did I go? Okay, hold on. <laughs> so we can't actually go and get the finger whistle yet, it looks like. Well, no, no, there's one guy you can kidnap who's at the castle. I mean, it, it says at the castle on the guide, so I don't know. <laughs> this, this, <laughs> this guy. This guy just kind of isn't that, uh... Wait, hold on. What letter are you looking at again? Bloody... Surgeon's bloody letter. From the surgeon who told me to go and find a guy. <laughs> I thought that's the guy you talked to! I did not find that. I talked to a person on the upper path. <laughs> Clearly that's why you missed it. You went through the hole in the wall. No? Well, technically both. Because you don't necessarily have to grapple to be on the path. I mean, there is a grapple from the lower path to get up to it. Oh! Thrust attacks can't be blocked, but they can be deflected. Interesting. So it says unblockable, but... It doesn't mean undeflectable. Oh yeah, that is a uh, upper path. So I guess it's middle path. Uh, you go and find one of two people. I don't. I don't know. Could be. Alright. Oh. Time to throw myself at a brick wall for a bit. That's the wrong one. Alright. I'm gonna try and upgrade my resurrection power. Dude! 
Oh, it's mean! about to completely and utterly destroy him. He is dead. I did it. I killed him. <laughs> that was... That was easy. just like sprint up to him and then go slightly to the left. <laughs> ah, cool. There's like an upstairs. There's not an upstairs. <laughs> I mean, the stairs look completely usable. I don't know where they're not. Oh, shoot! That's seen every time I hear it. Might.
Hey guys, you're gonna be. Oh, this gets it twice. Well, Travis, the, the goal was to flash at him, and then right before he attacks, he's right, because he only attacks forward. <laughs> Well, are you resurrecting immediately or waiting, my guy? <laughs> I just did it! Dude, I literally can't explain it any better than that.
this whirlwind class is kind of effective. Good job. Excuse me, guy, can you, uh, let me equip one of my ungos? <laughs> yeah, you're not getting a death or a blow on him. <laughs> but at the same time, he's actually got... He's got one attack where if you use the whirlwind black by backing up from the unblockable, it's a specific unblockable. But if you back up from it, uh, you can use the whirlwind black. The second hit will always hit. Him. Yeah. Good question. He's wearing a lot of clothes, man. Ha! <laughs> 
I can definitely beat him now, so I'm gonna... That's gonna be the end of the stream as soon as I beat him. But, uh, the fireworks do seem kind of decent if you use them right. But, I don't know, it, it just... I prefer just doing... Third... Oh, it goes. Where, like, you do the death blow and then you have to death blow again.
Yeah. That was like really powerful. Ah! It's a it's a very tight timing for some reason.
Seriously, did I like somehow disable his soul? What is going on?
there's a bow. Well, I didn't beat it, but... Oh my god! So there's the first thing, you know, the two death blows that you get on him. Where it really just feels slow and methodical, you know, you're just supposed to... 
kind of deflect, and then wait for the opportunity to attack him. And then there's the second phase where he speeds up most of his attacks and he throws in a couple of lightning attacks that just... Well, if you improperly block them, you happen to be on the ground whenever you do. Um, expect to die. That's, that's really all I can say. Expect to die. Oh my god. Yeah, be in air and block. <laughs> nice. stream here because this is actually usually about the length of time I do stream for. This is interesting. <laughs> let, me, let me know if you at least get to that other phase because you're going to have fun. Alright. I mean, I don't know yet. Probably. I do have work in the morning. See ya.